Morning, my old man, 1961 here. Uh, I've got a double coin show for you today. Uh, I talk to quite often a, a guy called Michael in America. And uh, we did a bit of an exchange on some coins. And he sent me a stunning collection of coins. Which I'm so pleased with. He's uh, got a brilliant channel as well, Michael Swan 66. If you want to get over there and have a look, he's got some interesting hunting, metal detecting. He goes to some lovely places as well. But anyway, we get started. Now I've put these in date order rather than what they are. So we'll start at 1900 with. An Indian head penny. I always like look at it. When you see, I've seen them on the channels on YouTube. I want one of them. And now I've got one. Lovely. Nice an Indian head. And the other side's upside down, so I'll turn it over one cent. Ah, dropped it. There we go. That's 1900 Indian head penny. The next coin is 1913 Silver Barber Diamond. I've seen the date there, lovely. This camera's lovely and clear. United States of America, oh, I'll turn it over. One dime. A little coin sort of gives you an idea, size of my fingers, how big these coins are. This is a lovely collection. Next one is a 1919 S Mint Wheat Scent or Wheat Penny. I do have a couple of these which have turned up in change. They're sort of roughly the same size as our pennies. So they get in our change. And there we go. This is date 1919. It's a wheat penny. Uh, the next one is a 1920 Standing Liberty Silver Quarter Dollar coin. There we go. I love the patterns. I mean, I, I collect coins anyway. I, I love from all over the world the different designs they have. Quarter dollar. There we go. I can just flip it that way, there we go, that's the easy way of doing it. And there's the Standing Liberty. See, saucy lass. In God we trust. Nice. Now this one is just absolutely amazing. I'm so privileged to have this, I think. It's a 1924 Silver Peace Dollar. in nice condition amazing eagle on there it's got the inscription I ain't going to try and read it because it's in Latin but I'll make myself sound like an idiot there's the lady on the back liberty in God again we trust 1924 what a lovely coin I'm so pleased with these uh, 1935 Silver Mercury Dawn. I always wanted one of these as well because I love the picture. And there's Mercury, little wings on the ears. Or the helmet, I should say. Let's <laughs> see the date there. A little spin over. That's, I'm not sure what that is actually. Hmm, perhaps someone will tell me what that actually is. Oh, there's some foliage and stuff there. There we go, that's the Silver Mercury Dawn. Next one is one of my favourites as well, the 1937 Buffalo Nickel. Look at that, look at an amazing Indian on it. 
And on the other side, a lovely buffalo, just as amazing. Ooh, got some little tiny right in there, see if I can. on this camera this is a Panasonic by the way I'll tell you exactly what it is I can't see the I'll say the Indian again is flipping over there we go that's the man well if, if, if this was based on a particular Indian if someone knows that would be interesting that would be I mean, you gotta think of the, the work that goes into carving these. Anyway, 1944, 40% silver war nickel, P mint, uh, mark, oh, the P mint mark above the dome. Oh, sorry, Wendy. Just having my cup of tea. There we go. I can go be trust again. See that a little bit. Flip it directly over. There's a P mark above the dome. Oh, it states from there. That's a nice coin. Now this one is a 1945 Walking Liberty half dollar silver. These are so lovely. And this is in amazing condition. There's the eagle again. There's sort of detail on these. Oh uh, good. His feet. <laughs> there we go. That's it. See his face there. Look. Good boy. I'll flip it over and here. Beautiful, I'm so grateful for these. These are the pride of my collection. This is a 1952 Silver Roosevelt Diamond. Again, this is in good condition. One dime. Turn it over. Mr. R, I believe, on there. Oh, what an amazing collection. And like, again, I'd like to thank Michael for them. 